you have that symbol on it. The usual one, but also your bar of metal. Honestly, kind of looks like gold. That was dramatic. No, this, it's going to be something else I want to saw later, and the locks are still in place. Gimme. Why can't I make you gimme? I need to figure out how to power you on. I've got a metal bar, which means I have something that I can use for forging. All right, let's heat it up. Pretty sure that's not the tempo you're supposed to use if you're doing this for real. All right, now just grab it with your bare hands. Nice and, nice and comfy. A, cree, a key created in the forge. Sure hope you did the right one or you're boned because that was your only metal. That one. That does something. <laughs> Make it go left and right. For reasons. Was that there before the switch? A small connector. Okay, so now and when I when I'm going the other directions, the other the other one opens. Is that what's going on? Because there was two little side panels, basically. Yep. A hollowed out metal block. What have I earned here? You have a diamond entrance. A maze printed on your cover. A weird circuit board looking thing going on overall. A target sign on the front. And you're apparently hollowed out according to the description, which means there's probably something inside you if I put the right thing in. Small connector. Two eye holes. Neither of these things match each other. And I still have you, surprisingly. Can I put you in there? No, can't drag it over. Oh, the eye holes. Oh, there we go. A mechanical disc. I was going to say, it's, I'm surprised this never opened, and then it, it opened immediately, as if to react to me. Okay. No clear indication of what those things mean off the bat. Oh, this is in this... Okay. I need to switch the two of them. Basically. I'm so good at these sliding tile puzzles, you know? Just phenomenal. I just have all the right instincts, you know? It's what makes me such a natural legend. Did I do it? I did it. Ooh. Next piece of track, and that's it. I thought, thought it was two objects. It was not. Well, alrighty then. It's the circular one, so it's this one. I don't even know what the other things do yet. What are you? A mechanical disc. Oh. I was like, why well, want to rotate? And then I realized it's because I was triggering one of these. Whenever you try to rotate these things around and you have a moment of like, why well, won't it move? It's because you're actually triggering what causes it to transform. Anyone need a gear? 
trick question. There's so many places to put those. Maybe on there somewhere. I would guess the thing with the chess piece, though. It feels like two things aren't connecting somewhere over there, right? Yeah, those are fine. Those are fine. Could be wrong. Whatever this thing is, it moves now. You're turned on for a reason, right? So what do you do? There's a track here. Seems awful important. That's still not moving. I just don't I just don't recognize what this is. There's a track though. Can the whole table move towards the track? It's not, it's not on the track already though. Done with that. Is there a place in the gearbox to put another gear? The answer's not currently screaming yes. I don't really see a spot here either. It looks like it goes on the end of something though. But have I seen that connection somewhere? You're a completely different combination system we haven't seen yet. The metal pins look like they should be connected to something. Yeah, something with that combination, which is like a whole different system than what we do for the key forging. And I want that. Somehow. Zoom out. There we go. We've done that already. Can't go to these cupboards. There's these guys, but I looked around a bit there. I would currently guess it's something in this room. There's the glowy bit. Yes. I missed. <laughs> Oh hey, it's dragging that thing around that it could not be moved by human hands. How stuck was it that it could be moved by human hands? Because the thing that caught it... I don't know, I guess, I guess that probably had torque. I don't know. A belt for attaching things that aren't moving. How do I get... It's probably for you, right? Because you're still not doing anything? Yeah, you're zoomed in on the spot. Yep. Gimme, 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 gimme. And boop. Or not. Boop. Apparently the cutscene still hadn't ended. Neato. That was a lot of steps to get that to let go of a thing. Alright. Let's go jam it in the hole. Ooh. Another lens screen of a... This is familiar. Looks like something from the previous chapter. And then you move it, okay. The, the, the ability to slide it was the first thing I saw. That was not the important thing. Oh. Hello. Oh. That became a whole chimney. Yeah. Who builds things like this? What have you done? Okay. This is new. 
What's your deal? This one's blank. It can't be rotated. That one has like pads or buttons on it though. Oh, this one can be rotated. That seems important. Can I shine a light through them? Oh. Probably all supposed to match up. So, rectangle on the right or something. Can I go back over there? Light. There we go. Just had to make the three sides line up with the three shadows as the beam goes through. Now what have I done? Ooh! The time has come to forge the next key! Oh, it's four pieces. Target sign, two prong, cactus, tuning fork. There's some sort of bottom piece you can add, apparently. Oh, that's what you are. Now I understand what you're for. You're a part of the forging process. That's what the face panel was. There we go. Do I still have metal or do I have to get more metal? I think I have to get more metal. Can I put you back? I can just put you back in. That's how they get around that part. Okay. Let's see. Two prong. Cactus. Tuning fork. Yeah, that's how they get around the idea of like, what if the player is wrong about what they put in? You just put the key that you made back in and reforge it over and over again. I see what you're doing. Your arms would fall off. These things are really hard to do, aren't they? <laughs> ah, yeah. Look who's good at this. Evidently. They said that I need to make the first ones myself, but the last one will be provided for me. Are they talking about these keys, I assume? Multiple panels, one gemless, one green, one yellow, one purple. Okay. What hath I wrought upon our people? Did I make the green line up? Not the yellow, though. Or the purple. Oh, I'm gonna rotate around the whole thing. Cool. Okay, so let's rotate this guy, then. Yellow's there. Green. How? Yellow. Purple. That'll make the yellow line up. Is that what I needed? Yellow. Purple? Can I move these around? Oh. Oh, I thought I had to make them all somehow fit the same, the correct direction all at once. I'm like, that's going to be super hard. It's not hard. Because you don't have to do that at all. You just push them in when they get there. That's easy. Where the green at? There it is. A gem. Congrats. You got a little gem. That goes somewhere. 
in this weird box. Probably done with this now. Okay. Does the gem go up? No, this is the keyhole, right? The gem doesn't... Oh, it does. There... Oh, now it's a keyhole. Okay. Two-prong arrow snake. I guess I'll put that in there, then. Arrow, snake. Wow. It was right next to the where I just was. There we go. A key created in a forge. It might be just about there. I've used most of the elements in the room. Ooh, inside. With the, with the power of those elements, they could just give me infinite extra dimensions to go through. What is going on here? What is even my goal? So, left, right, or center. Okay... Oh, I see. There's four gems. Oh, the sound's looping forever now. Uh, there's this thing right here. There's like a frame. I have to get all four gems into that frame. Okay, so putting it here only moves the outside frame. Putting it here moves most of the frames? Okay. There we go. I'm basically already ready to solve it, and I kind of stumbled into it. Gotcha. Is that sound gonna stop? I feel like it's bugged. Oh hey, the metal casing. There we go. Resume. Damn it. That didn't work. No, the audio bugged. Make it stop. That's it, right? Everything's put together. Oh, the door behind me hath opened. Now that's a big deal. Alright. That said, this is the worst sound, so I'm gonna go back to the main menu. <laughs> and quit out and come back. Ah, peace. The sound, it's gone. Alright. That crack mean anything? Maybe not. What do you do, Mr. Machine? What do your inscriptions say? Can't zoom in on them, but that one says Talisman again. The usual. Those are a bunch of different cuts. Oh, it's gonna print something, isn't it? This is like a printing press, maybe? There's paper loaded in it, at the very least. Got a piece of wood. Three strange deep cuts on it. Splintered.
Does nothing on this thing move at the moment? Oh, had to zoom. Oh, the handle broke off. What am I gonna do? Gonna have to make a new handle with that saw blade, aren't I? Okay. Come on out. I believe in you. Now, if this guy was really clever and this whole thing's a trap, then the meta game in the open world that, uh, seems to be my way of getting around this trap would also be the a part of the trap. <laughs> yep, it goes right in there. And the locks have gone away. There we go. I've got a nice piece of wood and a piece of crap. This piece of wood is broken. I don't think I I'll find a use for it. Nice, clean piece. Can I zoom out, please? There we go. Do I need to shape it? Yeah, I probably need to shape it. Into a handle. That's a neat trick to do in-engine. I'm trying to think about how they would do that in the first place. Morphing the polygons of the model live would probably be a giant pain in the ass, right? So I would guess that what they're probably doing is they're probably, uh... They probably have both uh, models loaded in at the same time, and they're sliding the, uh, the uh, visibility of them on and off right behind that line. I tested it live by trying to rotate the camera because I wanted to see if I could rotate the camera during that scene and I can't. I think that they're doing that trick of like when the time machine from Back to the Future lands behind that one uh, telephone pole and it transforms from being a CG thing into being a... Uh, not a CG thing, uh... When it was in the air, it was a model that was like a miniature. They're filming like a Star Wars ship and then when it goes behind the light pole it turns into a real car, and they just green- they just- they rotoscope it out. That's probably a similar trick going on there. Cause, otherwise, what are they doing? Deforming the model live? Like, how? Oh, right! We still haven't done the android arm. Howdy. Wow, if that's not the weirdest thing. I can look through the paper. Really important to recognize the really weird texture that the stuff is when you can see through it like that. What was it? Was it Da Vinci that had the weird problem where... I think it did. I think I remember Da Vinci having a thing where like it kept having you do a lens because Da Vinci is so blatantly based on the room that it even has like a lens on the right side of the screen. Uh, but in that one, it didn't have like such a clear a cue of when to use it. Triangle wave, box, whatever that is. <laughs> Double angle. Gotta get in there. So, double angle, box, triangle wave. Oops. Got it. Ooh. That's interesting. Well, in the real life, we're so easy. You just have, you just visualize the thing as you want it, and then it just materializes. And you don't have to do any of that pesky smelting and careful metal work and... You know, all the stuff that's a huge pain in the ass. And whoop. Oops, not, not, don't get out of here, phone interface. I'm gonna go this little notch. Oh, there we go. Oh, important question mark stuff going on here. And what does this do? Oh, it rotates it. Oh, okay. 
This is where things get weird, isn't it? I need an angle where all of his hands will release it. What does that correlate with? Which finger is which? Is the... I'm trying to figure out whether it's better to have the rings stick out a lot or, st or be all the way in the middle. For the, let's see, let's go over one. That one sticks out like crazy, so I should be able to tell which one it is. Nah, it's opening up when they're really far in. Do I need to find like the deepest spot? Basically? There's like one annoying finger that's like in the way. But what I'm noticing is interesting is that it doesn't move when I change this. Which means am I adding and subtracting to where it currently is? Regardless? A really awkward angle. I wish I could zoom out and see all of it a little better. I just want to see this part a little more dead on. The middle finger is the problem right now. Go figure. Not doing me any favors. As you might imagine, I don't necessarily have that much of a system. I'm kind of just weaving it around and seeing how to get anything to move. Not working. Oh, there we go. What? Okay. I feel like the middle finger still never moved, and then abruptly it moved. Probably, probably want all the holes to line up, right? And these, these not rotate anymore? What's going on there? These rotated really- that one rotates. Does only that one rotate? Can I see it on the inside? Eh, I need to find the actual keyhole for this one so I can figure out what it actually is supposed to look like. So we're probably done with this station, and that. That was just a hole in the ground. Is there another one on this thing? We did that, we did that. I believe we did that. Right, whatever's going on up here we're not done with, right? This is like some weird stuff. Oh, I thought I was going to need the fourth piece of the top, but that never came up, did it? Not seeing what I think I want. Is there another thing to unlock in this room? I, I thought I saw a birdcage again for a second there. I'm like, oh, there it is. So the birdcage is like one of our goals, one of our final things we need to do. I think we're done with this room too.
Let's just wave you around a bit. Oh. Oh. It interacts with each of them differently. I see. It almost fits, but something's not quite right. There we go. Ah, and that was the final thing. It's the key that's provided for you, like you said. Ah. It's never- ah, it's never a good time. <laughs> There we go. Chapter complete. Praise is due. You mastered the sinister machinery of the forge with the plum. Let the splinters in your fingertips be a reminder of how far you have come.